Welcome back to another In Your Pockets Tuesday. So I am just showing you the inspiration for this week and I was really taken by that photo with the flamingo and the bright colors in this pineapple picture. So I'm going to use Newton Nook's Flirty Flamingos to make a homemade 3x4 card that's going to go in the right side of the pocket page and I'm going to be using some watercolors. So I'm using the little pair of flamingos here and then the sentiment tickled pink and I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink because it is a waterproof ink. So I'm going to stamp that out and then I'm going to just lay down some water all around the card so that I can get the color moving well. So this is me just putting down some water and I had... Um, wanted it to be a very monochromatic look like the inspiration piece uh, so I'm laying down a really soft pink the inspiration piece was more cream colored uh, but the pinks really goes with my layout so I'm just going to get that down as a base and it will dry uh, lighter than it even appears now uh, when it's wet um, and then I'm going to, once I have that done, I'm going to use a little bit of a brighter pink for the flamingos. And I wasn't worried about keeping it in the lines. I actually wanted that kind of messy, running over the edges look for this particular card. So um, I'm just going to soften out the edges. And then I'm going to try to get the watercolor to actually run outside of the lines. And of course... It was giving me a bit of trouble. I didn't have enough water, then I kind of had too much water. Uh, when I did the prototype for this card the night before, it worked out perfectly, but of course when you're on camera. So it looks really dark and messy right now, but it will dry much lighter, and I'll show you the card. Um, you'll see it when it's dry. I wanted to do the beaks this really bright pink, and again, it will dry lighter as well. So I'm going to move that off to the side um, after I do the Sentiment Tickle Pink. And I thought that this really went well with my layout. I'm doing a spread from my recent trip to California where I met Daniel Brown, a fellow YouTuber. And we were just so excited to meet each other. So here's the picture. So this is, we went to the San Diego County Fair on uh, the 4th of July. And so this is the right side of my spread, and I am using poolside for the majority of my album. So I'm just showing you some of the products that I'm using in today's spread. And so I'm going to um, use my corner rounder on all of the photos. And I will um, show you, I think I mentioned this is the right side of my spread. I'll show you a picture of the right and the left together at the end of the video, but I'm only doing the right-handed side for the purposes of this video because I didn't want it to go too long. So I scrapbook pocket style 6x8. I started that for January 2015 and I'm loving it and I also tend to do a lot of Becky Higgins Project Live 6x8 mini albums for trips. So I have recently done a Mexico one and now I am doing one for California. So my style is very clean and simple, and I had trouble here placing this one. I forgot that I wanted to leave some space at the top to put a little banner from the collection, and it just says so much fun. So this is a picture of Danny, and she's holding one of the flamingos that were at one of the games. Um, it was a prize, and it was so cute. It was almost as tall as she was, so... I'm just going to write here, um, can we take her home? And really after I wrote that, I kind of wanted, I, I thought it went well because, you know, I wanted to take Danny home too, but I couldn't. So <laughs> kind of fitting. So I put these enamel dots on and after I turned the camera off, I end up taking them off. So in the final pictures, you'll see that I didn't keep those on. Um, these were also prizes hanging. Um, the donut fad is not only in crafting. Um, these were so adorable. And uh, Danny was pretending here that she was eating a chocolate one. So I just, I adored those pictures. She's so playful and fun. So I'm going to use these snap simple stories letters to spell out yum. 
and I thought I wanted them kind of on top of each other, but then I realized I had enough room just to have them spaced out properly. And then I'm going to grab this sticker. Um, it says In the Sunshine. And again, I take this off after the camera stops rolling. So uh, this layout is really, really, really simple. Um, simple, more simple than I usually do. But the pictures, I don't know, the pictures told the story. So this is just a picture of one of the food stands. And I just journal here that I loved all the colors at the fair and that we had um, so much fun that day. So here's the card. So that's the, um, the one on the right is the one that I did the night before. The one on the left was the one I did that morning. And this is um, the dry one. So uh, that's my spread. I hope you guys had fun. You can find me on YouTube at Scrapina Creations. And I will be doing more of my vacation mini album over on my channel. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying the Crafty Maven getaway group and videos. I'm having a lot of fun being a part of the group. Stay tuned for some close-up pictures. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. Bye.